hear you. Yeah, I figured. You worked hard to get here. <laughs> Domain expansion. Infinite void. Malevolent sanctuary. Malayalevolent sanctuary. Empty menstrual. The fight will begin. Boy from heaven. Geja Akutami revealed everything about Satoru Gojo, Yuta Okotsu. For everyone who was doubting that Yuta hadn't been cut by one of Sukuna's cuts, ended up encountering one of the most surreal things that would be possible. On the other hand, we saw something even more insane within all of this, which was the reality of everything that happened with Gojo and Man. No, I still don't believe it. <laughs> Look, it really was a lot of information for our heads, but there are still some mysteries that are yet to be unraveled. Gege Akutami's head, it's not normal. It's certainly not normal. This is easy. Holy shit is crazy. Oh, likes. Eh. Ha, 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 ha. Domain expansion. Purple. I miss you so much, Gojo. Before we play here in this video, click the like button. And if you are new, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos here on the channel. Without further ado, let's get to the point. Ah, just one detail. We're going to talk about everything that's happened so far in this fight. But at the end, I'm going to bring some more spice here about a point of what I believe could still happen. And yes, this involves Hornado's body and Sukuna. Oh, the chapter actually began where the previous one ended. Wow, swear? Tudu and Itadori kind of cornered Sukuna, but it's still very calm at this time. It's been a long time since the King of Curses has been cornered. And then just like that, he escapes and comes back humiliating his opponent more and more. Without a shadow of a doubt, what you can't deny is that Sukuna is the badass. There's no one for anyone. The guy is just acting out, but I already know at that moment you'll come and say, oh, Sukuna is just acting out because no one is fighting to kill him. Everyone is fighting to save Megumi. Let's be honest, you don't even believe it yourself. Lul, anyway. Itadori, already furious with Sukuna, immediately said, I'm going to crush your heart anyway. Crazy is mad. <laughs> Then he showed that he wasn't kidding, but the King of Curses was going to introduce a domain expansion, which complicated everything. But that moment everyone was waiting for arrived. Or almost, in fact, Satoru Gojo's body was there. In fact, the fan base that loves Gojo saw once again at least the body of the honorable blue-eyed man standing. But the bucket of cold water came soon after for most fans. At that moment, we saw Sukuna say, I didn't think you were capable of so much, Yuta Okotsu. Mermao, it's Yuta. Yuta is in Gojo's body. What's going on in Gege's head? What fuck? Oh, ah. Uh. But then we have a point. Invicto planned everything. So, point for the undefeated. Many fans end up saying that this is only happening because Geji really wants Yuta to be the main thing in everything. And as Gojo is practically the most loved character in the work, he would combine the useful with the pleasant, and that would make the memory of Gojo would stay forever, and Yuta would continue in the story. Something a little innovative, but very crazy. He would almost be a new character, a fusion. Just not that much of a fusion. I'm going crazy, seriously, lol. But then, then we have the explanation of everything Yuta planned. Maki is already saying, no, this won't work, is it? But then everyone already analyzes differently. Yuta concludes, In case Satoru Gojo loses and dies, Kenjaku will be devoured by Rika, who will copy the cursed technique of body transfer, and Yuta will fight using his body from Satoru Goo. This would increase the chances of victory much more. Hey, at that moment, everyone starts the insane debate. And everyone starts saying that it's crazy and that this wouldn't be a plan since Yuta would lose his humanity. But then Yuta acts and says, oh, so you're talking that I will become a monster with this. And someone here is calling Gojo Sensei. All of us. Ever. Haven't we just put the burden of become a monster only on Guzyu Sensei? And if no one wants to become one, I will become. Boy, the crazy is bad. So. Yuta already knew that Gojo was going to die. 
or at least he felt that way. Can you understand all of this? Yuta knew that the Honorable One wouldn't beat Sukuna, but come between us. If Gojo defeats Sukuna, everything ends. Kinjaku's dream, the ideals of the King of Curses, everything goes to the moon, Geje retires and ends everything. So one way or another, something would have to happen with Gojo so that at the same time he continues to be that honorable character, he is still remembered. Now where will this all lead is the big question that I don't have an answer to. But I have theories, lol. Yuta makes a very interesting point also that they said he has Fujiwara blood, since Gojo has Shugurawa blood, which makes the two of them distantly related, and Gojo even says, maybe you were born more blessed than me. And with that, he asks Yuta to work on his cursed energy. We had an interesting confirmation. It was Satoru Gojo who killed the High Establishment on page 5 of chapter 2, 123. That's why they say, even if I lose to Sukuna, if the people inside this room disappear, the old man from Gakunganji will effectively be in charge of the high-ranking command, and if that happens, there will no longer be confusion like the ones that occur in Shibuya. Yuta emphasizes, please don't think about becoming a monster alone. Seeing this, we can see that Yuta was always ahead of this. He always thought about it. However, we can see some things from Satoru Gojo, which showed that he still blamed himself a lot for Gato, feeling as if he had done something wrong. After all, he always said that his biggest mistake was not having cremated Gato's body, and therefore that's why Kenjaku managed to get his body, and this whole catastrophe that ended up happening was based on Kenjaku's plan. But Kenjaku is still a very mysterious character, and I can still bring up some interesting points about him, but we'll leave that for the end. Gojo says something very strong. Notice that he says, it will be impossible for me to become a monster alone. At that time, I was left behind. So that's why I have to make up for what I lost, which is further evidence, even though he blames himself a lot for everything that happened to Geto. But anyway, we still saw that Satoru Gojo's body was actually cut in half. Sukuna is actually malevolent. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm done with the lame jokes. Gojo's body was unable to regenerate even with reverse energy, so his body simply had to be sewed up. But to make matters worse, Yuta was also cut in half. For everyone who theorized that it was the trait that wasn't very cool, that it was this or that, he ended up making a mistake and making a bad mistake, Yuta, if it weren't for Rika, who in truth is part of him too, he would have gone base at that time when he was cut by Sukuna. Yuta says, that because he has Rika, he can maintain consciousness even with his body broken in half. Gojo's body had only been sutured, but after Yuta went to his body, he would have to heal, quickly using the cursed energy. Domain expansion. Domain expansion. And simply in this way, we see the final page of the manga, leaving people even more intrigued and theorizing even more things about what will unlock this battle. Sukuna, keep laughing, malevolent sanctuary versus immeasurable empty, and the main one. The solution to the barrier technique in relation to the domain that doesn't close a barrier by Ryumen Sukuna had been revealed through Satoru Gojo. This was without doubt a rain of bombs for the entire fandom, Satoru Gojo's fans trying until now to reason many things, many people wondering what will happen later in the story. But of course, if you allow me, ah ha 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 ha, I'll give my opinion with some theory points here. Kenjaku, a villain who died laughing, someone who still has a power that nobody knows what it is like, that creates doubts, who has lived ages and ages, switching bodies to bodies. Something we are seeing now, like Yuta did, taking Gojo's body as a last resort, would be very interesting to see Kenjaku appearing in some way and at a moment when Sukuna had actually run out or by a slip-up he had faltered, Kenjaku appeared and said, This is so perfect, Yuta. I knew that your combination with Satoru Gojo would be the only Sukuna's chance for victory. Now the body of the King of Curses is mine. Finally, the fusion of Tenjim with humanity will happen. After millions of era, I finally succeeded. All of you who are in front of me are hassling me. It will be the end from all of you. Ha 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 ha. Shit, have you ever thought about this happening? Tell me if this wouldn't stop the internet. We have to take a lot into consideration 
that Gege Akutami is always involved with many issues related to other animes. The great reference of characters with Bleach and other animes, a villain so appealing that he alone ends up soloing everyone. A little similar with the villains of Dragon Ball Z, although Sukuna's level of destruction, not in terms of powers, but in terms of madness, reminds me a lot of Majin Buu. A lot of things that are shown make me analyze these more and more references. But finally, what I emphasize most about this theory, bringing these points of reference, is simply the fact that Sukuna is also very reminiscent of Madara, who simply became a thousand times stronger than all the characters in the work, and the only way to be defeated was someone nerfing him. And by the way, Kaguya's madness mixed with Sasuke's in the end reminds me a little of Kenjaku Revolution. You can't talk about the good side and the bad side of it. You can only bring points and more points of madness that are imagined in it. Well, if Kenjaku comes back and takes Sukuna's body, I would say that would be a perfect grand finale because then we would have a decked strategic villain who took Eris to be able to realize his plan and be able to achieve his ambition. Before anyone comes to say anything, remember, not even the Jujutsu sorcerers themselves know what all the abilities of the Kanjaku curse are, so there is a point of theory and questions. Good moon. That's it for today, my wizards. What did you think about all this? I've already been posting some more theories and information about the next chapter. This is really getting really good. To our regrets, for now we say goodbye to the truly honorable Satoru Gojo, who, not even after going to another life, had his rest and is already using his body. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I said I stopped with the lame jokes. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel here to stay up to date with our entire Jujutsu universe to the next. Bye.